crosses, runner, guitar tabs, and guitar lesson. So just a standard tuning here, E, A, D, G, B, E. And we can start by uh, mimicking this vocal sample or vocal riff that happens. And it's basically just kind of a, a harmony of like a power chord. And we can start it here on the A string. We go 8, A, 10, D. And then we want to slide that up to 10 and 12 and then back down to the 8 and 10. All right, and then we zoom up here to just 13s on the A and D. All right, uh, for the chords in the verse, we just do power chords here. Um, they're all major chords, I think, but uh, we could just worry about like the, the power chord really. So we start here and be at the B flat. So one A, three on the D and G. Okay, then we come up to four and sixes for the C sharp. And then just take it up a set to the A flat at the four and sixes here. All right, and we hold that A flat like twice as long as we do the, the first two. And that cycles through the, um, you know, kind of the vocal riff and the verse sections. Um, once we get to the chorus, uh, we get some arpeggiation going on. The chord, initially, it's a C minor, so if you just want to do the C minor, you can do that. But the arpeggiation, we start here at the 3A, 1D, open G. All right, and the speed we go through these arpeggiations kind of varies throughout. It's kind of interesting. Um, but then it holds that open G and then just walks back that 1D, 3A. Alright, takes it up to this uh, E flat 6 look where we got the 6A, 5 on the D and G. Pick just down through that. Alright, take that shape, bump it down two frets for the D flat at the 4 and 3s on the D and G. And the second run through, we get a little bit different here where um, the initial kind of C minor pick through, we kind of hold space the notes out a little further than we did previously. Something like that. Then we take it up to our E flat, the six with the fives. Kind of space that out on a little more. And then uh, we'll hit that five on the G again and give it a little bend and release. All right, then we go to our D flat, the fours with the threes. All right, and then here, uh, the ending switches where we go an F sharp chord, and then up to the A flat. All right, and the little lead over the top of it is that bend of the five G over the F sharp. All right, and then we slide that up to eights, kind of hit it a couple times, one, two, three, four. All right. And then we just kind of cycle through all the different patterns again.